Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at there is my nice wireless tool thief. It's the NE2 10 millihenry jewel thief <laughs> uh, that I've added a wireless receiver to in, in lieu of the battery. Remember that the, the uh, AAA battery used to sit right in there. Well, I've put in uh, my wireless receiver and uh, this nice uh, antenna and uh, you can see that it works quite well wirelessly, no battery. Uh, there's the transmitter over there. It's being powered by a 12 volt battery and I had to lower the capacitance, or rather lower the frequency a little bit by adding some capacitance to bring it into a good match with this particular antenna on this particular receiver. And I did that stepwise by just starting out with small capacitances and adding more and more and more watching the brightness of the LEDs at the maximum distance right about there where it shuts off and uh, measured it with a ruler and when I started with no capacitance in there it would it would have to be pretty close and it would shut off at around seven centimeters uh, distance between the loops but now I've gotten it uh, down to where it doesn't shut off until about 12 centimeters right there. That's that's 12 centimeters between the loops. I think it has to go in a little bit to turn on because you need to go uh, you need to have at least 360 volts to light uh, four NE2s in series and you need to have a pretty good uh, amount of current going on to get them that bright. <laughs> you know, those are not dim. Those are fully bright LEDs there. I mean, uh, neons there. Four any two neons in series, 360 volts. They're 90 volts each. Okay, and that's running off of that 12 volt battery right there. And as you can see, um, you can touch antennas, you can move things around, uh, and the system doesn't care, right? You can, you can uh, change the inductances by putting stuff in there. It's uh, within certain limits. If the receiver and transmitter are tuned and are actually in resonance, there's no fall off with distance. Uh, that's a lot easier to demonstrate with uh, uh, with an incandescent bulb. So maybe I can do that. Let's see here. Here's a uh, sorry about the light. Come off of there. Come on. Okay, here's a receiver with an incandescent bulb. Let's see what happens if I stick that in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but when I stick the incandescent receiver in there, the neons get brighter too. Okay. The camera, of course, is kind of masking that, but let's see if I can do it from this side. Well, I think you get the idea. Multiple receivers, wireless power, increasing brightness in the neons from the addition of another receiver, I think, right? Definitely. They definitely get brighter. Look, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the if you can see the plasma on the electrodes, you can see as I bring the second receiver into position, the plasma on the electrodes glow, grows downwards and fills the neon, the neon tube even more. Is that showing up on the, on the picture? Yeah, it is. Okay. Earth breaking, ground shattering. Uh, I don't know, probably not. Anyhow, that's the incandescent receiver. You can see how complicated it is. The filament glows so brightly when that happens that the, it actually uh, boils off tungsten and, and sputter coats the inside of the glass and makes it dark after a while. The bulbs stop being usable not because they 
fail from the filament, even though they're they're much brighter than they would be uh, on the straight DC power alone. Uh, they f they're, they become unusable because eventually they turn black. All of the cheap uh, filament materials that they use overseas boils off at the, at the energies that I'm using and coats the bulb on the on the inside and turns it black. All right. It kind of washes out because of the brilliance of the incandescent bulb, but the, the neons definitely get brighter when I do this. That's actually because the presence of the second coil brings the system even closer to being in true resonance. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching.